trying to take away your son. Out of here right now. I want you gone. Just tell me where I can find her. I don't know where she is. She's not here. If you speak to her, you tell her I need to hear from her. What am I, your answering service? Lindsay? I <clears throat> have some news for you. It's about Will. I just want you to know he's all right. How do you know that? Did you speak to him? No. Just believe me when I tell you he's okay. Where is he? I don't know. And it's better that I don't know. But you're sure he's safe. You're sure. I'm positive he's safe. <sighs> Thank God. It's not easy letting go of a child. No, it's not. Especially for the real parent. I'm not even going to ask you what that was about. Thank you. I appreciate that. Are you okay? I'm just so tired of all the lies and, and, and the schemes. Oh, dear. And here I am talking to you about Todd. Why, is Todd cooking up some new scheme? Oh, I don't know. Uh, when I saw him, he was trying to apologize for the last one. When I saw him, he asked me if he could keep an eye on Will for me. What did you say? told him to stay the hell away from my son. He doesn't care about Will. Todd is in trouble right now, and I think uh, he wants me to help him, and the way to do that is to help Will. So you don't trust him? Do you? I really want to. I want to, but it's, it's so hard. When Ben asked Todd to take him to Jessica, I, Christian and Will. Todd said, no, 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 I'm not going anywhere near the three of them. And I have to tell you, I was relieved. Well, you should be. Yeah, I suppose so. Even when Todd tries to help, things somehow have a way of getting worse. Wait a minute. Todd, help, it's an oxymoron. At the end of a long day, Todd's only goal is to help one person, and that's Todd. I want some answers. I want to know, what are you doing here? What are you really up to? Hey, look, you're going to get all huffy about this. I'll just go back to Landview, and you can stay here and deal with that trigger-happy bounty hunter all by yourself. Why don't you? Why do you care? I One don't the care, other. all right? It's just that your father asked me to look after you. Oh, hold on. You saw my dad? Yeah. Sam and I had a little chat. We caught up on old times. When you left Landview, you hung my father out to dry. And you expect me to believe that he just took you in and forgave you? He was disgusted with you. Hey, look, Sam and I go way back. Long before you and the other Hardy boy were on the run, these pathetically bad white-collar criminals. Yeah, long before you were a rapist. My relationship with my father is none of your business, so stay out of it. You're in my hotel room. Not for long. Hey, if it were up to me, I'd let you go do this thing all on your own just to prove to the world that you can't. But that's not what Sam wants. Your father asked me to help ask you Ask him, my father did not Because ask there's you. things I can do that a legitimate guy like him just can't do. Oh, and you said that you would do it. Yeah, I owe Sam. He's been like a father to me. He is not your father. Oh, he is I'm not trying to muscle in on your inheritance. I've got my own. Didn't exactly turn me into a little Mary Sunshine, but... Oh, really? No kidding. All right, fine. You go do this thing on your own, okay? Good luck. Maybe, maybe nobody else will spot you the way I did. Maybe, maybe you can live your whole life on the run. And Jessica will learn to love to go from dump to dump with you. And maybe she won't resent you for dragging her away from her home when her mom is there with cancer. Good luck. Wait! Wait! All right, what do you got? What kind of help are you offering? What am I doing? What does it feel like? I'm sorry, Christian. Look, Jess, you don't have to apologize. No. No, we shouldn't be doing this. Jessica, I love you. And I hate that you have to go through all this all by yourself. I'm not by myself. You gotta be mom. No, because I can't be. Yes, you can. You can go home. Right, and I'll get arrested, Christian. <sighs> not if you tell him we kidnapped you. What? It'll get you off the hook. 
Right, and it'll put you and Will in a whole lot more trouble than you already I are I don't in. care. I want you to get out of this, Jessica. I want you to be with your mom. No. No, I can't. I can't, I can't leave Will. I'm telling you, I'll stick it out with the guy. You don't even like him, It Christian. doesn't matter. I don't care. I'll do it for you. No. No, I'm sorry. I can't. I can't leave Will. Jess, you'll understand. It's not like you're being disloyal or anything like that. No, it's not about loyalty, Christian. It's about love. Are you all right? Yes, I'm... I'm fine. It's, it's nothing, really. I, I'm fine. You know, it's only natural that you'd want to be with your real son. My real son? Did you just hear me? I, I, please, it's, it's, it's really nothing. It's all right, it really no, is. No, 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 it's not all right. I, I wish you hadn't overheard me, especially you. I, this is not your problem. Well, maybe it is. What do you mean? You don't seem surprised. Ben, how could you know that Max is not my son? Answer me, Ben. Have you known about Max? Did you know that he's not really my son? I know that Max is a fraud. I've known that since he faked his brain damage. I also know that no lie is beneath him. All you did right now is confirm it. Well, I... I just wish that you hadn't heard it. Truth would have come out. Eventually. It always does. You and I have had more than one conversation about Max. I I remember once we talked about whether I was proud of him, whether whether that was the son I'd always wished for. Did you suspect something then? Were you trying to tell me? Renee. You're a wonderful woman. And you're stuck with the family from hell. I knew sooner or later you were going to get hurt. I just didn't want to be the one to do it. So, what are we celebrating? Oh, life, love, revenge. <laughs> what revenge? Why, that which we shall exact from our enemies, whomever they may be. Bo Buchanan? Oh, trust me. He has made the list. So I guess you just found out about Max? No. I've known since the night he collapsed from the aneurysm. And you must think badly of me, staying with Max through that lie. And no, Asa doesn't know. I have not told him. Well, I'm sure you have your reasons. Yes. And what about you? You're in a war with Asa, and I can understand how, I, how you wouldn't say anything before because you only had suspicions, but now you know the truth. And this could destroy Asa. What are you gonna do with this, Ben? To get a new DNA test, I'd have to say that the first one had been tampered with. Lindsay would have to tell the court that she'd uh, paid someone to alter the results. And, and if she did that... She goes to jail. Yeah. And I can't do that to her. You do love her, don't you? Well, we've been through a lot. Uh, I, do, I care about her. I want things to be right for her. Um, I think that... She's had her share of pain. A lot of that she's caused herself. I think she deserves to be happy. You left something out. Do I love her? I did. I wanted to marry her. But not anymore? Too much has happened. It's. The way I felt, that's that's gone. I don't 
I don't know if I'll ever feel like that again. Hey, Bob. Mm -hmm. I understand you're looking for me. Hi. Hi. How'd you find me? Just by chance. I went by your office. You were out. And I wanted to come down and see the plaque. And I promised Matthew for a little ride on the swing. So I'll see you later, OK? okay? Bye. So, could it be that you're wanting to see me has something to do with Matthew? Yeah, Hank. I want to find out the truth, and I'm going to need your help to do that. Yeah, I will grant you that most of the time Todd is utterly and completely selfish. But at the same time, you know, he risked his life to save Cord and Tina's children. I mean, he got shot trying to save Patrick Thornhart, who he despises. And there's nothing on this earth he wouldn't do for his little girl. Wait a minute. Are you, are you saying you think he came back to Landview to tell us about the kids because he was... He thought we might be worried? Well, I can't think of another reason. Can you? No, I can't. But there's got to be one. I know that he hasn't given you much reason to trust him. Has he given you a reason? He's a challenge. Come on. He always has been, and I don't deny that. You know, he almost had me the other day. He told me about how hurt he was of losing Taya. And for a moment, I saw that wounded little boy I knew from Chicago. And then he completely blew it. He started making snide comments about Nora. He started blaming everyone else in the world for losing Taya. Yeah, but Sam, that's the only way that he can live with his pain. He has to blame somebody else. He does not get it that sometimes bad things happen to people. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter how good you are. Sometimes they just happen. And yes, of course you get angry. But you can't let the anger overwhelm you, because that only makes everything a lot worse. You know, Vicki, um, there are times when I've thought that things couldn't get any worse. I know that you've been very, very angry with Asa because of what he's done to our children. So have I. But at least you and I have found a way to turn this anger into something positive. We're working very hard to bring our children home safely. Todd doesn't know how to do that. Right. His anger has to go somewhere. I'll tell you the truth, without Taya to take it out on him, I'm kind of worried about where Todd may explode next. There's plenty of ways I can help you, Will. I can put you on a plane. I can fill your pockets full no, of cash. No, I told you. I don't want to leave the country. Well, if I were you, I'd reconsider that. Ireland is beautiful this time of year, and I know a cute little bed and breakfast when nobody will find you, I swear. No, I'm not going to leave the people I love. You're my hero. Well, I wouldn't expect you to understand. No, I understand. It's just to get the whole thing completely backwards. I and mean, you don't want to go anywhere because of Jessica, right? Right, yes. And if Jessica were over in Ireland, you would somehow grow feathers and fly over there to be with her, am I right? Yes, I love her. Well, then you have to go. Vicky has cancer, okay? She needs all the help she can get, especially the help of her little girl. Now, we both know that Jessica's not going to go anywhere as long as she can be with you. No, I told her. I told her that she should go oh. back. Ah, uh ah, -huh. Will, listen. You're not... Jessica's not going to go anywhere if she could be with you. If you disappear, she won't have a choice. She'll have to go back and be with Vicky. And we both know that's where she belongs. Now, come on, be the hero. Look, you go to Ireland, I'll take care of the details. And you know what? You'll love it there. Plenty of other romantic saps just like you. We both know it's the only way to get Jessica to go home. You want me to grant Lindsay immunity? Hank, I need her to tell a judge that she paid off Jeff Barnes. And that would be enough probable cause for the court then to order another DNA test. She'll be admitting to criminal bribery, Bo. Yeah, well, that's why she needs the immunity. I don't, I don't want her to go to jail. She broke the law. Yeah, she did. And I'm sworn to uphold the law. So are you. You know, you warned me. You said if I take this to court, it's going to make everybody's lives miserable. So what are you going to do? 
If Sam knows that Lindsay's protected, then maybe he'll agree to another test without having to go to court. And all I've got to do is compromise my office. I think that's not what I'm asking. Well, then what are you asking? Lindsay changed her mind. You know, she tried to undo the bribe and, and keep Barnes from tampering with the results, you know? She shouldn't have to go to jail for that. I know you've never been a big fan Look, of Look, that's not the point, Bo. I've got no grounds to grant her immunity. And she hasn't given us anything to justify a deal. She could give us Barnes. Now, that's the guy that tampered with medical records. And he affected an innocent kid's life. Yeah, according to the woman who bribed him to do it. I need more than that. All right. Look, I'll see what I can do. I'll... I'll see if I can find something. I appreciate it, Hank. Yeah. Hey, come here, big guy. I want to show you something. You see this word here? Do you know what that is? That's your mom. See? Right there. Matthew, this place is for you, OK? More than anybody else. Don't ever forget that, all right? This place is for you. So you've already got something else going on against Bo? Well, now, I've said nothing of the kind. Am I allowed to know the details? No. No, no, no. But trust me, it's going to be sweet. Trust me, Renee. I'm not going to tell Asa that Max isn't his son. Why? You hate Asa. And you know how badly this would hurt him. It would hurt you, too. I won't do it. You're a very good man, Ben. Much too good. I don't know about that. I've had my share of lies. Kept more than my share of secrets. Well, haven't we all? But now I need to know the truth about my son. You see, this is the only connection that I have to him. And I have to know who he is. I have to find him. Renee. Ben. Can you help me? You have so many connections. Can you help me find my son? I don't want your money or your advice, and I'm not going to tell Jessica what she should and she should not do. She can make up her own mind, so you can forget it. Well, wait, wait, what is that thing about the horse in the mouth of the gift? Sam told me once. I don't... No, you know, you talk about my father, but you have not learned anything from him. He puts trust and loyalty in front of everything else, and so do I. So you can take your money, and you can take your help, and you can get lost. We have made it this far without you, and we will make it the rest of the way. You wouldn't be so sure about that, Willie. Willie. Uh -huh. <sighs> Look, Jess, I know you love Will. But you got to think about yourself and your family. I have been. Think about it. If I leave here, I'll end up hurting Will. And if I stay here, I'm still, I'm going to end up hurting my mom. They'll both understand. Right, so how do I choose? You trust yourself. And talk to me. Talk to me the way you used to. Things were so easy then, huh? I don't believe you, man. What's your problem? Did you take advantage of Justice's problems to put the moves on her? No, that's not what he was doing. <laughs> 
It is impossible to know what Todd's going to do next. He's probably the most complicated person I've ever met in my life. He certainly is the person who makes my life the most complicated. And even though he's my brother and I love him in spite of everything, my life is a lot easier when he's someplace else. I love him, too. It doesn't seem to do much good, though. He doesn't know what to do with love. He's scared of it. Yeah, and he winds up taking a whack at the person who offered it, usually. But does that mean that we have to turn our backs on him? No, I think it means that we have to have tough love towards him. I mean, it's something I've tried to do since he got back to town. Yeah, well, I, I, I don't think I can do that. You know something? I, I don't think it really makes that much of a difference. The fact is, you, know, you slam the door on Todd and he just comes crawling back through the window, raging at you for, for letting him down. And just looking for that first weak moment when he can move in for the kill. What the hell's wrong with you? What's wrong is what you're doing to Jess. He's not doing yeah, anything. He is using your mom's illness to come on to you. What? No, I know what I saw. Chill out. No, don't oh, tell God. me what to do. Will, we stop said it. we would put Jessica's needs before our own, right? Hey, and then I you know this. Needs you are thinking I've had about. it enough with you and your self righteous Guys, Me? What no. about you? Come on. Let's find oh. Come on, find me. Guys, stop it. What's going on here? I'm calling the police right now. I've hired a detective to help me find my son, but he's gotten nowhere. And there was a nurse who might have known something, but she's dead. And you see, the only thing that I know for certain is that my son was born to me in Las Vegas. And I gave him up there. You're from Las Vegas. And you have ties to people there who know things, who can find them out. I could give you the report that Sam and Nora put together when we started to look for him. Renee, I, I, I wish I could help you. Ask me to do anything else and I'll do it. But that's the only thing that I want. But I, I can't. I mean, I'm so sorry. I mean, you have no idea how sorry I am, but I, I simply can't help you find your son. Revenge, RJ, I don't think it's ever sweet. Right. Look, I won't deny that there have been times that I have wanted it. Times that I've even gotten it, but what does it get you? Hurting someone else doesn't make you feel any better. Most of the time, it makes you feel even worse. Roseanne, Roseanne, apparently, you still have a soft spot in your heart or your head. I, I don't know which, but wait. You wait till your heart is just scar tissue pumping grief. And you'll find the more you share, the less you feel. And I think it's going to feel great to share a little with the commissioner. Hasn't he already had enough grief? <sighs> his wedding to Lindsay gets wrecked at the altar. And then, then Nora dies? What more does this man have to lose, RJ? Oh, there is more. <laughs> there is always more. Okay, bud. I wish there was something more I could do to help you Bo. And Sam, and even Lindsay. Something I could do to help you all get out of this mess. I wish there was too, but there was. Get ourselves into this mess, and we're going to have to get ourselves out of it. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Lindsay. Um, Matthew, there goes Timmy and his mom. Why don't you go over there and say hi to them? Hi. Is there something wrong? Why do you have Matthew? Sam won't agree to another DNA test, and the only way to get one is with a court order. So you'll go to court? I can't. Why not? To get a court order, you have to confess what you did to a judge. But Sam said what I did was a crime. It was. So that means that I would probably go to jail, wouldn't I? Yeah. And that's why you can't do it. Yes, I can. Lindsay, don't even think about it. Bo, you need to have that new test, and so does Sam, whether he wants to admit it or not. So if I have to go to jail in order to, to get that done, then that's what I'll do. This is my fault. I'm not going to let you do it. 
This has caused too much pain. It's about time I did something to make it right. No. I'm doing it, Bo. I'm, I'm gonna get you that court order. So you might as well arrest me. I'm sorry, this was a mistake, and it's not gonna happen again. I promise you, there Do you have any idea who this is? This is the Queen of Canada's daughter, the Canadian princess. The Canadian... Princess, that's right. Now, that may not mean a lot to you, but it, uh, her father, the, 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 the King of Canada, still throws a lot of weight around Washington, which is why this place is crawling with, with Secret Service agents. Agents? Yes, Secret Service Mountie agents who would be here at the slightest provocation, and that would include the showing up of a local cop. And I don't need to tell you what happens next. We, we, we secure the whole area, we, we shut down the bar, and then we conduct a room to room search with the, the Mounties, and they have the little maple leaves on their hats, and that would not only greatly inconvenience your guests, but might jeopardize our relationship with our NAFTA neighbors up north. Eh? And, uh... Beyond that, I can, you know, personally guarantee you, assure you that there won't be any more trouble. Sorry, miss. Hey. Go expose. You guys don't need my help at all, do you? Sure you don't. No, no, please. Don't be sorry. I'm the one who should be sorry. I know how hard you've been struggling to escape your past, and I, I shouldn't take you back there. Besides, when I think about it, if you were the one to expose Max, that would only make things worse with Asa. It won't be easy for you either. I have no choice. I need to find my son. What will you do if you find him? Laugh. Cry. Hug him and say I'm sorry. You see, I... I want to see who he is. I want to see what kind of man he's become. And then I'll probably spend the rest of my life apologizing for all the time that was wasted. Renee. It's all right. It's all right. I understand why you can't help me. But you know what? I'd like you to be my good luck charm. Wish me luck. All I've got to say, RJ, is whatever you have in mind for Bo, please leave me out of it, all right? Mm. Well, I appreciate the support. Some memory you've got. <laughs> who was the only person who spoke up for you when all those cops closed ranks around Bo, huh? But this I don't want to be a part of, all right? Well, don't worry about it. I knew better than to count on your help this time. So I have done a little barn raising of my own. I mean it. I'll tell Hank or the judge or whoever I have to that I bribe Jeff Barnes if that's what will get you the DNA test. And you'll go to jail. I have to. What do I have to do to convince you? No, I'm convinced, you know, and I'm grateful. But I'm not going to let you do it. Bo! I'll get it out of Barnes some other way. How? He's too smart. I don't know. Maybe I'll make him trip up. Or he's going to make a mistake. That's the way most crooks get caught anyway, so... I got to go. Thanks for your help. Mm -hmm. I wish he'd let me help him. That is the biggest line of bull I have ever heard. What? You're not gonna get away with it, Lindsay. Not this time, because I'm too like you. So you're giving up on Todd, is that it? <laughs> It'd be like giving up on a child. 
Bob is not too tired. You know something? In a way, he is. He's, he's, he's the child I could never help. He's, he's, he was always in trouble, and he always needed me, and I could never help him. And the truth is, maybe the way to help him right now is to do exactly what I've done, which is just close the door on him and let him try to figure out how to get himself out of the mess he's created without leaning on me or you as a crutch. Besides, I've got enough troubles on my mind right now with... Will and Matthew. What's wrong with Matthew? Nothing. He just needs my attention right now. Yes, of course he does. You're absolutely right. And obviously you're doing the only thing you can, Mr. You know, if I thought I could help him, I would. If, if there was something I could do to help him change, I wouldn't hesitate for a second. I've done everything I can think of. I know of. you have. I know you have. Boy, I'm going to regret this, I'm sure, but I, I can't give up quite yet. The thing is that I know how desperately Todd needs our love. And I can't even imagine what he might do if he thought he lost it. Okay, um, I'm going to need an answer now, boys and girls. All right, things have changed. Our priorities are not the same that they once were. So I'm gonna have to keep hiding out until I'm clear. And we have already been found once, and I don't think we can risk that that'll happen again. So I'm gonna leave. Without you. So are you going to be okay? Can I give you a ride home? I'm not going home. What are you going to do? <laughs> I'm not really sure. I just know that I am so glad to have just talked to somebody who seems to really care about how all this affects me. I do care. You have no idea how much. It has been such a blessing getting to know you, Beth. Oh, this has meant so much to me. Me too. Hey, Renee. You know, your father doesn't deserve a wife like that. She's a special woman. I agree. It's too bad you can't say the same for her son. What? Max. Oh, right. Guess he's not the brother you always wanted. No, I have the brother that I always wanted, Clint, but uh, he's in. Listen, Bob, I'm, I'm real sorry about what happened in the park. Yeah, forget it. Sam's your brother. Yeah, he is. And Matthew's my nephew. No matter what happens, he always will be. RJ, why don't you lay off? He looks like he's had a pretty rough day without your help. Mm. You think so? Because it's going to get rougher. I'm not lying. Come on, Lindsay. I know how you work. I've seen it a thousand times. You're trying to get Bo feel sorry for you with this lame Marty routine. I meant it. Because you know that he's a decent man and he will never put you in jail. You have nothing to lose. You're wrong. Haven't you given this man enough grief? How much are you going to put him through? Why are you talking to me like this? You're my sister. Has it ever occurred to you? I'm the one that you're supposed to be supporting. What are you so worried about Bo for? What's he to you? Maybe it's time that you found out.